one who would be king, sending a clear enough message to the defending champion. Carlos Alcaraz through the round three. The two-time champion, Petra Kvitova, it makes it through to the third round. Stefan Ossinsi pass and Murray, huge anticipation. What a display by Sitsipas. What a cruel cool end for Murray. It's the number five seat who goes through. Day six of the championships is going to be full blown. The weather is supposed to be great, just as it has been in day five. And we're going to see Carlos Alcaraz back in action very quickly after winning on day five as well. So it's back-to-back -back matches for Alcaraz to get into the round of 16, should he, should he be able to win on day six. Once again, Stefano Sitsipas. A lot of tennis for players. We've already had a whole lot of tennis in the first half of the week. Rain played a little bit of a sport, sport for these players, but they're ready and able and fit to go the distance. So they would like to get into that fourth round for Sunday and Monday. Just like that. What a display by Sitsipas. He has been so, so impressive. Stefan Asitsipa, seeded five, has been a busy man week one of these championships, playing some fantastic tennis. And also, the interesting thing is, he doesn't quite take time between points. He plays at his own pace and is rather quick, but at the end of the day, he comes up strong. He plays big time tennis, he serves big, he moves a lot on the court of the baseline, attacks well. So, it's been a lot of tennis for him in week one. Is this tennis in a row, day after day? going to make a big difference. Five sets against Dominic Thiem, five sets against Andy Murray over two days. All of it rather difficult and rather great strain on the body. But they're fit, they're ready, and he can go seven matches. I had to work uh, extra hard today to, to get that victory. You know, my legs are sore right now. He made me run left and right, up and down uh, for uh, how many hours was that? Uh, over four hours, I would say. Um, being a difficult one, difficult one. Zverev and Berrettini are two challengers in this field. They can cause some serious damage in the tournament. They've both been around. They know how it is to play on grass. And uh, they've had big wins over the years. And so I do believe that they can cause some serious damage. But can they go seven matches and win this tournament? Probably not. But they may be in that second set of challengers for this field. Alcaraz and Djokovic still at the top. He's obviously one of the best athletes out there. And by athletes, I mean just in terms of a mover on the court. I mean, he he's almost like a, a human highlight reel, right? Like every match he gives you um, certain uh, highlights that, that are there in like, you know, some people's careers sometimes. And um, he, he's obviously very dynamic. And you know the scary part is that he's only 20 years old and he's going to get stronger and he's going to get better. And he's already number one in the world. Who are these serious challengers for this title of Djokovic? And of course, Alcaraz, the world's number one. Remains to be seen. But I think we're going to have to stay with the seedings on the challengers. Andrei Medvedev at three, Kasparov is gone, and then you have Tsitsipas at five. Probably the best two challengers. It feels very special, of course. You know, it's the last day of quietness, and then, you know, everything is starting, which. I hope it will be in a good way, of course. Uh, you never know, but uh, yeah, I'm happy to be here for sure one more time. I still do remember the winning feeling for sure. Petra Kvitova is the Wimbledon champion. Even it's a little bit, you know, pretty long time ago. We've rarely seen a performance of that quality from beginning to end. In the same time, the bad memories are coming as well, right? Because it's a, such a wonderful tournament for me. But as well, I was facing tough moments here uh, when I was losing quite early in the tournaments and didn't feel, you know, what I would love to feel. It's always the mix of emotions, and I hope it will be good emotion this year again. We are eight in the house. Uh, my brother with a family came with the two kids. You know, it's a bit different. I, I like it. That's important to think some, about something else than just the tennis. Uh, otherwise, it's too much pressure and only tennis in the head, it's not good. <laughs> My coach obviously knows where we are and he's not pushing me that much as probably he would if I'm a little bit younger. 
Yeah, it's a different time of my career as well. Enjoying the tennis more and you know trying to be relaxed and really enjoy the tennis itself. So he knows the way. Uh, I'm glad that he he knows it, and I don't have to tell him. <laughs> I think I train less than when I was younger, uh, for sure. Um, I'm not spending too much time on the tennis courts or in the gym, but I still do what I have to do. But I think that always my best tennis is showing in the matches, which I love the most. I don't like practicing at all. So the matches are the best for me, it's the best practice. So I'm glad that I did a great run in Berlin to have uh, some you know, matches, matches under the belt and, and play well. So that's important. Deserved winner, the two-time champion, Petra Kvitova. Ninth seed this year makes it through to the third round. Petra Kvitova knows how to play on grass. She's shown it before, she's won here a couple of times. And uh, as a matter of fact, she's been around for quite a while. She knows what it is to play here and on the grass at Wimbledon. So, is she considered one of the challengers, perhaps, for the title here again this year? Maybe not all the way, but she certainly knows that she can play freely. Expectations are low, and I think she's got a good chance to do some serious damage in the draw. So, give it over, a true challenger. Game, set match, Rubakina. And the coolest of champions survives a second centre court test. 7-6. The Brit Katie Boulder is up against defending champion Elena Rubakina. Now, is the big crowd in favor of Katie Boulder going to upset the defending champion? I think Rubakina has got a remarkable temperament. She's calm, she's collected. We saw her last year in the final against Ons de Bo, holding her cool there when it really mattered, and then not really getting overexcited when she finally won the championship for the first time. Incredible effort by way of temperament alone that keeps her such a great challenger and a champion. So, is it going to affect her in a match against Katie Boulder? I don't think so. I think Rubatina is the favorite.